fighting cancer with light? Mobilizing a patient's immune system to eradicate cancer is often hit or miss, but a group of researchers have discovered that light and optics might help. Killer T cells act as the body's defense mechanism, but they're often evaded by cancer cells and kept out of areas surrounding aggressive tumors. To help them track down their target, scientists combine the T cells with a light-sensitive algae molecule. When injected into mice and activated with light, the T cells were better able to kill the cancer cells. In a separate project, mice with melanoma on their ears were implanted with LED chips and made to wear a small battery pack. The battery signaled the LED to shine light on the tumor, calling killer T cells to the area and boosting their cancer-killing function. The non-toxic treatment is promising, but researchers are still determining how effective it is on tumors deep in the body. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Scientists have been working hard to find a cure for cancer for years. Malaria vaccine could lead to general cure for cancer. Scientists researching a vaccine against malaria in pregnant women may have accidentally discovered an effective weapon against cancer. Scientists from the University of Copenhagen and the University of British Columbia have identified that the carbohydrate the malaria parasite attaches itself to in the placenta of a pregnant woman is identical to a carbohydrate present in cancer cells. Scientists have created the protein that the malaria parasite uses to attach to the placenta in a laboratory and have added a toxin. The combination of the malaria protein and toxin finds cancer cells, is absorbed, then the toxin is released inside, causing the cancer cells to die. Research groups from the two universities have tested thousands of samples from brain tumors to leukemias and have found that the malaria protein is able to attack more than 90% of all types of tumors. The drug was tested on mice implanted with three types of human tumors, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, prostate cancer, and metastatic bone cancer. The mice that were given doses of protein and toxin showed far higher survival rates than the untreated mice. Researchers are now working towards being able to conduct human trials. They say the earliest possible time frame would be in four years. T-cell therapy could teach the body how to kill cancer. Scientists in the U.S. and Italy are developing a revolutionary cancer therapy that would teach the body to destroy cancer cells on its own, reducing the need for debilitating chemotherapy treatments. T-cell immunotherapy trials have shown great results in the U.S. study so far, with 94% of terminal leukemia patients going into remission. More than 40 patients with other blood cancers were also treated, and more than half of them were left cancer-free. The therapy is similar to a treatment given to British baby Layla Richards last year. Layla Richards was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, a disease in which the bone marrow makes too many immature lymphocytes. In a healthy child, the bone marrow makes blood stem cells that become myeloid stem cells or lymphoid stem cells, which then develop into mature red blood cells, platelets, or white blood cells. However, in a child with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, too many stem cells develop into lymphoblasts, B lymphocytes, or T lymphocytes, which are in fact leukemia cells. The leukemia cells are not able to fight infection, and they take up space for healthy blood cells in the blood and bone marrow. This may lead to infection, anemia, and easy bleeding. Last year, doctors in London used a new gene editing technology known as Talon on Layla. The technology uses molecular tools that act like scissors to cut specific genes in order to make the T cells from healthy donors behave in two specific ways. First, the cells are able to become invisible to a powerful leukemia drug that would normally kill them. Second, they are reprogrammed to target and fight against leukemia cells only. A similar treatment is being tested in Seattle. The new technique involves removing T cells from patients and genetically modifying them by adding chimeric antigen receptors, or CARs, from genetically engineered mice, which are able to target cancer. The modified T cells are then injected back into the patient's body. In a second major breakthrough in Italy, researchers have discovered that memory T cells can stay in the body for at least 14 years. This means they could be trained to fight cancer, as well as to remember the disease in case it comes back, allowing them to defeat it again. The latest discovery gives hope for the development of a vaccine-style drug that could stop cancer from coming back once it has been defeated. Immunotherapy treatment shrinks cancerous tumors. Combining two immunotherapy treatments shrank cancerous tumors by a third in 58% of cases in a 945 medical patient trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The body's immune system uses T-cells, or immune cells, to target and destroy infected cells. 
However, cancer cells produce a certain protein which allows them to avoid detection from T cells. Known as PDL1, this protein acts as what scientists have called a secret handshake between it and its T cell counterpart, PD1, to avoid detection. Though if this handshake can be disrupted, as the nivolumab drug does, the cancer cell becomes detectable to T cells. The other drug, ipilimumab, stimulates T cells to target cancer cells by blocking their off switch, known as CTLA4. The combination of both drugs enable the immune system's T cells to target and destroy cancerous cells. Experts also warn that combining the two treatments can cause severe side effects such as diarrhea and fatigue, as well as elevated liver enzymes and other symptoms. According to Bloomberg, the combined treatment would have an annual cost of more than $250,000 at current rates. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Scientists find antibody that makes cancer cells kill each other. A team at the Scripps Research Institute has discovered a new therapy that could prove to be a safer way to battle cancer. Acute myeloid leukemia, AML, is caused by an overproduction of immature white blood cells that are unable to function properly or fight infection and interfere with normal blood cell production. Current cancer treatments stop the growth of cancer cells but almost always damage other healthy cells. Scientists found that applying certain antibodies to AML cells triggered them to mature into natural killer cells that support the immune system. These natural killer cells then destroy related AML cancer cells, but leave unrelated cancer cells alone, prompting researchers to call the technique fratricidin therapy. In a single day, natural killer cells in one sample destroyed 15% of their cancerous kin, suggesting that a safer, more effective form of treatment could be well on the way. The Scripps team is working to be able to test the new therapy on human patients next year. Elephant gene could help in the fight against cancer. In a study published this week in the Journal of the American Medical Association, scientists revealed they have discovered a gene in elephants that could help the fight against cancer. Elephants, similar to humans, have lifespans of around 70 years or more, but they have 100 times more cells than humans and their cells rarely mutate into cancer. Only 4.8% of known elephant deaths are related to cancer, while for humans, cancer-related deaths are between 11 and 25%. Scientists have found that African elephants have 20 copies of a gene called TP53, which creates a protein that suppresses tumors. Humans, on the other hand, inherit only one TP53, one allele from each of their parents. If one of them is defective, cancer is certain to develop sooner or later. When there is DNA damage, the gene churns out copies of its P53 protein, and it either stops the cells from dividing so the DNA can be repaired, or destroys the affected cell so it won't pass on potentially harmful mutations. Tumor biology specialist Dr. Trevor Graham told the LA Times that reinforcing the protection offered by TP53 in humans would be enough to prevent human cells from becoming cancerous. 